Ranked at number 7 on Sight and Sound's Best Films of All Time poll, The Searchers is a 1956 Western classic directed by John Ford and starring John Wayne as Ethan, a Civil War veteran with an immense hate amount of hatred and obvious racism towards Native Americans. He returns home to his brother's house following the American Civil War. We can tell that through some looks that Ethan is in love with his brother's wife, Martha. The following day, Ethan, along with a group of Texas Rangers, leave in pursuit of the Indians who have stolen some cattle. While he is gone, his brother's house is attacked by the Native American tribe, the Comanches, murdering the males and kidnapping the females. In a scene that is reminiscent of Star Wars, Ethan returns home to find the place burning. Ethan swears vengeance against the Native Americans, and with the one-eighth Cherokee Martin, they go in pursuit of the Indians in the hope of saving the surviving girls. Unfortunately, Ethan discovers one of the bodies, Lucy. But Debbie is still missing, so over the course of five years, the film focuses on the determined pursuit of the Indians in hope of finding Debbie. But as the film goes on, we discover, and Martin correctly assesses, that Ethan's determination for finding Debbie is less to do with saving her, but to kill her. His bitter hatred of Indians is so large that if a white person just happens to live with them, it contaminates them, and that they need to be removed. This is Ethan's attitude towards Debbie. Ethan is the main character of the film and is a very complex character. He is a tough, larger than life figure who is deeply flawed by his racist attitudes towards Indians. John Wayne's portrayal of Ethan was Wayne's best performance of his career, usually playing the all-American macho man hero. Wayne's character here is not a man that people want to be but a conflicted, angry giant. One of the things that makes this film so great is that it, great is that it highlights extremes of both the invading colonizer and the extreme natives, Scar being the extreme Native American. We learn that Scar has his motives for hating the, col the colonizers. They killed two of his sons. But Ethan is a character who, well before the events took place, had an immense amount of hatred towards the Indians with no reason as to why he does. He simply does. The attack on his brother's house only increases this hatred. The Searchers, because of this, is a far more liberal film than most of the movies at the time. With its complex storyline, it enables the audience to think about the issues being raised. Miraculously, as bad and horrible as Ethan sounds, Ford is still able to make Ethan come off as a sympathetic and likeable character, despite the obvious flaws in him. Like with Ford's other films, such as Stagecoach, Ford once again util utilizes Monument Valley to his advantage, fitting the film greatly and making the journey seem long and empty, making the characters come off as vulnerable. But at the same time, the giant red sandstone symbolize Ethan as a giant. Max Steiner, who composed the soundtrack for Gone with the Wind in Casablanca, also did another great soundtrack for this film, flowing beautifully throughout it. The biggest flaw of the search is, is the Indians. They have blue eyes. It is pretty obvious that the Native Americans aren't actually Native Americans, but it sticks out and can be quite embarrassing for the film. Overall though, The Search is a, is a great film, often considered the best western of all time. Both The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, and Once Upon a Time in the West and Unforgiven also have a pretty good claim to this. The Search is, is still a fantastic film, and while I don't think it's the seventh best film of all time as far as sight and sound is concerned, it is easily Wayne's best film, and Ford's masterpiece. The Search is receives an A+. Thanks guys, and if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more.